a selection of Valentine's Day poetry readings, read for you by T. Prower. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Sonnet 18 by William Shakespeare. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, and often is his gold complexion dimmed, and every fair from fair sometime declines, by chance, or nature's changing course, untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest. So long as men can breathe, or eyes can see, so long live this, and this gives life to thee. How do I love thee? Sonnet 43 by Elizabeth Barrett Browning How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach when feeling out of sight, for the ends of being an ideal grace. I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right. I love thee purely as they turn from praise. I love thee with the passion put to use, in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith. I love thee with a love I seem to lose. With my lost saints, I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life, and if God choose, I shall but love thee better after death. A Valentine by Edgar Allan Poe For her this rhyme is penned, whose luminous eyes, brightly expressive as the twins of Leda, shall find her own sweet name, that nestling lies upon the page, and wrapped from every reader. Search narrowly the lines, they hold a treasure divine, a talisman, an amulet, that must be worn at heart. Search well the measure, the words, the syllables. Do not forget the trivialest point where you may lose your labor. And yet there is in this no Gordian knot, which one might not undo without a saber, if one could merely comprehend the plot. And written upon the leaf where now are peering, eye scintillating soul, there lie perdu, Three eloquent words oft uttered in the hearing, Of poets, by poets, as the name is a poet's too. Its letters, although naturally lying, Like the knight Pinto, Mendez Ferdinando, Still form a synonym for truth. Cease trying! You will not read the riddle, Though you do the best you can do. She Walks in Beauty by Lord Byron She walks in beauty like the night Of cloudless climes and starry skies And all that's best of dark and bright Meet in her aspect and her eyes Thus mellowed to that tender light Which heaven to gaudy day denies One shade the more, one ray the less had half impaired the nameless grace, Which waves in every raven tress, Or softly lightens o'er her face. Where thoughts serenely sweet express, How pure, how dear their dwelling place. And on that cheek, and o'er that brow, So soft, so calm, yet eloquent, The smiles that win, the tints that glow, But tell of days in goodness spent. A mind at peace with all below, A heart whose love is innocent. Love is Enough 
by William Morris. Love is enough, though the world be a waning, and the woods have no voice but the voice of complaining. Though the sky be too dark for dim eyes to discover, the gold cups and daisies fair blooming thereunder. Though the hills be held shadows, and the sea a dark wonder, and this day draw a veil over all deeds passed over. Yet their hands shall not tremble, their feet shall not falter, the void shall not weary, the fear shall not alter, these lips and these eyes of the loved and the lover. Send Her a Valentine by Edgar Guest Send her a valentine to say, You love her in the same old way. Just drop the long familiar ways, And live again the old-time days, When love was new, and youth was bright, And all was laughter and delight. And treat her as you would if she Were still the girl that used to be. Pretend that all the years have passed Without one cold and wintry blast, That you are coming still to woo, your sweetheart as you used to do. Forget that you have walked along the paths of life where right and wrong and joy and grief and battle are and play the heart without a scar. Be what you were when youth was fine and send to her a valentine. Forget the burdens and the woe that have been given you to know. And to the wife so fond and true the pledges of the past renew to cure her life of every ill, to find that you're her sweetheart still. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody! Until next time, see ya!